Hey, what's up, guys? Um, today I got you another races update. Um, I know I hadn't done one in a while, but to let you guys know, exciting news is less than 10 months away before I get these off. I am so happy, and they just get straighter and straighter every day. So here's the update. I got the bracket off, well, not the bracket, but the spring that was supposed to help separate the two teeth that were, uh, you know, that were in between the one tooth that I had behind my back teeth on the top. Uh, that officially now is in, it got pulled in, and when I tell you, I get so scared every time you pull it so hard, and the last month that I had it on, it was ridiculously painful not ridiculously painful but it was painful and it was it was it was terrible um but it healed after a while and now as you can see it's right here now the two teeth that are between are going to come together and that'll be it unfortunately the gum right here is a little bit overgrown so it may look a little uneven but that's because i had food stuck back there i had to get my teeth clean it was too much i couldn't really reach the back there because oh it was hard to reach the back there because it was basically you know the the spring was in the way so i couldn't really reach that well um but yeah, that's so it's less than 10 months away. I'm so happy. I always wanted straight teeth because, you know, I wanted to smile. <laughs> but yeah, that's in any life updates. Um, I'm back in school. As you can see, this is my dorm room again. And you can see all this mess right here because, you know, I've been messing with makeup. <laughs> yeah, I. I think I did better this time. Um, I originally had black and blue on, but I was like, eh, it's a little too dark. So I went for a little bit more natural look. I don't know, my skin tone is a bit confusing. It's like, not super dark, but not super light either. Um, but yeah, I was like, let me go for something not too dark or anything. So yeah. I did this all within the span of like two hours, maybe, because I was really trying hard. I always wanted to learn how to do makeup, and for some reason, they always get it flawlessly every time I look at makeup videos, but at least now I kind of figure out how to put on the eyeshadow, right, how to, you know, do the eyebrows a little bit more correctly, and uh, yeah. Um, I don't really do all the extra stuff with the... The glow on the cheeks or anything. I just wanted my face to look good. And, uh, well, can't really see now, but I've been having some little pest issues that have yet to be solved, even though I constantly tried to call them and send them to work order. There are some bugs lingering in my room, so they bite me on the face. So there's that. I even got this one right on my chest right here, if you can see it. But, yeah. I hope I don't. I hope I didn't catch anything, even though I don't feel sick right now. But I'm gonna check with the doctor because I don't know. So yeah. Aside from that, yeah, I just came back. Um, I checked in with my classes. I actually switched out too because I didn't really like them that much. Mom was flute class because um, it was kind of new. Like I hadn't played flute in like. A long time like it was elementary school when I learned the flute actually it's called the recorder that's what I learned kind of more simple than the flute because the flute was more complicated I tell you but yeah um, I learned the recorder in elementary school um, but I switched that out for guitar because I already did a semester with him so I was like why not do it again and on top of that um, I don't know if you can see. Uh, let me get it real fast. I actually got a guitar. 
from my uh, program. Someone sent it as a gift. And if they ever see this video, I definitely appreciate you for getting this for me. Because I really wanted to learn the guitar. I thought it was a pretty interesting interest in, ugh, instrument to learn. Aside from other things. Plus... I think, uh, I wanted to learn in high school, but I never really got the chance to because my GPA wasn't high, but thank God I was able to get one of my own. So now I'm going to actually be prepared for my uh, guitar class. Even though they had rented guitars, I really wanted to learn. I really wanted to learn without being over at the Annunciation Center, so... I was kind of stuck. But now, now I got my own guitar, so now I don't got to worry about nothing. Um, so I'm actually super happy about that. And I can't wait to work harder this semester because last semester was a living hell. Don't do this in college. Don't date college. Don't choose classes like that. Choose the ones that you know you're going to actually succeed in. Because last semester, I chose a science class, and that was ridiculous. I had to do a 10-page lab report every freaking week. It was so annoying. And then the next thing you know, I had to study for these outrageous tests, which it's weird because the professor here are not young. They're pretty well in their age, and they had different study habits than what we learned and stuff, so it was kind of, you know, ridiculous in a sense. I had to relearn what I learned in, back in North Star. Speaking of North Star, <sighs> never going back there again. But, yeah, um, that's basically it. Like, I haven't really been doing much. Like, i just been doing it. And today, we have Martin Luther King Day, so we didn't have any classes. Most likely going to have classes tomorrow. So, yeah, the first week went by fast. It was just, um, basically, they giving us an overview of the classes, what we learning, and stuff like that. So, yeah. Like I said, I got rid of two classes, flute class, because I wanted to learn the guitar, which I already had experience in a little. And then the other class was history class, which was about an hour or something. It seemed promising, but I was too afraid because I didn't want to fail because I would mess up on the goddamn midterms and then the finals and I end up getting a C with an effortless A if I get to class every day on time being a gauge and then on top of that the dude is a little too old and he's not engaging he should he just sits in his chair and talks so I can't pay attention so yeah I mean that's basically it for me If you guys want to know what I uh, use to do this makeup look, I can tell you. Um, honestly, it took me a lot of time to do this. I'm not the best when it comes to makeup, even though I want to learn so much. But I personally think I did good enough. If, I mean, a friend said that it looked natural, so I'm pretty proud of that. Um, yeah, I like it. And then, of course, as usual, um, I usually have my hair in twists. I took them out because one of them broke, and then it just unraveled. And I was like, okay, I'm, I'll just take the whole thing off. So now it's wavy, which I like. I think I look good with wavy dreads, aside from straight. I think it looks cute. So... That's because I kept the twist in for like over a month or so. So now it's just super long, super fabulous. So, yeah. 
that's what I basically did. Uh, once again, less than 10 months. I'm super happy. Only thing is, is that now they gotta fix the overbite. Because that really bothers me, alright? I don't like why my teeth stick out. It just look like a squirrel. I got clear this time. I wanted to be neutral since it was the new year. So, yeah. I'm super excited. Like, to be honest, I feel like, you know, my teeth was one of my insecurities. But at the same time, at the same time, it didn't look super bad. Like, people said I had a very unique smile. So, even if it wasn't straight, but, you know no girl with depression everything just looks so ugly on her and stuff like that i'm going through some shit still but i'm fine definitely finding ways to feel better like i write in my journal i do makeup i stare in the mirror every morning smile do a bunch of poses and stuff you know all the little things and uh i try to avoid being on social media for too long like Instagram it's just speaking of which have y'all heard about the uh, them doing the uh, thing where they said that they were going to have pictures with false something warning like false information warning personally personally I don't think it's too much of a bad idea because we know that some people Photoshop their photos, so it's kind of good to know in a sense. But at the same time, I can see where people are coming from. Like, Instagram is going too far, and they don't need to do all of this because it's just going to make people leave. So, but yeah, honestly, I don't really care. As, as long as I'm not really affected or I feel super insecure because certain girls have beautiful faces and certain body types or anything like that so I'm not really affected with Instagram as I used to be I did delete my Instagram for like months because I was just like over it I was I did not feel good on there so I just said forget it now nah, I came back so I'm just looking at stuff and yeah that's basically it So yeah, anyways, I'm about to go about my business, you know, I'm about to post stuff on Instagram because I feel so good, I've already posted stuff on my story, people already liked it, I'm actually quite, I look, I look pretty, do I, do I look pretty, I do I look pretty, <laughs> I got so much water where that came from, I can't wait to post, honestly, if my mommy bought all the stuff, makeup that I have earlier before I turned 20 then I probably would have had this makeup look for my 20th birthday but I didn't have much at the time so all I had was put gold on my face and use a filter but it's too late now it already happened but I'm telling you as long as I have this makeup right here that this is what she bought me a lot of BH cosmetic stuff And of course, I use stuff that she got me previously. So, there's that. Anyways, I got a minute left on this since I don't know how to extend the time on my MacBooks since I mainly use an Android. I'm getting an iPhone soon. I know that for a fact. I know that for a fact. I said I was going to get a job this summer to get an iPhone 11. So that way I could buy me <laughs> with the camera and everything. But yeah, that's all I got today. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoying your day or night, and yeah. Uh, so yeah, bye everyone.